In this video, we're going to go over how to draw an all-flex duct system in Wright Suite Universal. And once here on the drawing screen, I'm going to draw my actual flex duct system by using the supply duct icon and return duct icon. Now, these are ceiling rails in the attic of my level one. My air handler is also located here, although this could be in a closet coming up through the attic space and could be the top of the plenum. Remember, the plenum and the air handler are sort of the same icon here. Um, but we'll say that this is a, an attic unit. In fact, I could demonstrate this as a horizontal unit simply by stretching out my air handler and using one end for supply and another end for return. It's important that I use these little blue squares here, my snap points, as my starting point for these connections. And what I'll do is using straight lines at first. Yes, you can bend flex duct, but it's much easier to connect your duct system using straight lines. Okay, so I will start with my supply duct icon. I'm going to use this as my supply side and I'll run a duct off in this direction. Now here is where I'm going to put my first uh, Y. Then picking up where I left off and zoom if you need to. We want to start right at the end of this duct right here. I'll finish making that connection. All right, I can do the same thing from here on out. Now notice there's a pretty significant difference in the methods I use to connect the flex duct system and a trunk and branch system. Usually with a trunk and branch system, I'm starting with the register and working my way back. I find it easiest to work out from the air handler um, and connect uh, to the registers when doing uh, an all flex system. It's not the only way to connect it, I just find it to be uh, the easiest. So I'm going to start with my supply duct icon, come to here. Then make my connection. And anywhere I want a duct, I'm going to draw a duct. Starting at that same point. Now maybe out here I'll do a junction box, as I have three equal supply, supply grills. By connecting back to this same point, each time, the program will all automatically create a junction box for me there. I can do the same thing in here. I can do the same on the return side. If I want to create a riser up to my level 2, I simply run a duct to wherever that riser is going to be. Again, using straight lines. Even if I'm creating some crisscrosses here, I'm going to start with straight lines. Select the fitting and designate it a riser. Tell it how far it needs to go. And connect the duct off of there. Make that connection. If I don't need a riser, I just need to make sure that my duct is going on the floor that I want it to be on and make the connection. Now we all know that this isn't what my flex duct system is going to look like. This run here is going to try to go around that register. This run here is going to try to go in between these and so on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the flex duct itself. And as long as that duct is connected, we have that nice dark color, I can turn on my edit points icon and move my flex duct around. I can put a bend in the flex duct. I can take this duct here and bend it around. All right, I can take this duct here for a more realistic depiction of this system. I want to come off at a steeper angle here, come off of here at a different angle. This connection here would come off a little more to the side and make whatever adjustments need making to accurately depict this system. 
This concludes our video tutorial on drawing an all-flex duct system. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.